Hey, good morning. It's your friend Mel. Um, I am going to share with you something super important today. It's a game changer. It is one question that you can ask yourself every single morning that boosts your mood, it increases your focus, it will help you set an intention that's going to impact um, how your day goes how you show up for other people, how focused you are, and it's super, super simple. I write about it in my new book, The High Five Habit. As you know, that's coming out September 28th, and so every day we are gonna be putting out all kinds of content about these free game-changing tools uh, that you can use to change your life. And so I wanna give you a real quick uh, tool. Let's see, am I, can I go to the bathroom right now? What, no, I'm not gonna go to the bathroom as in go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna go to a bathroom, okay? And I'm going to teach you something. Oh, there's a mirror right here. So you know how you look in a mirror? So every single morning, here's what I want you to do. I'm sorry it's a little dark, but I'm doing this on the fly. Every single morning when you look in the mirror, after you brush your teeth, we're gonna talk about the high five habit right now, okay? One of the most important aspects of the high five habit is setting an intention, okay? There's research that shows when you take just even a minute every morning and you focus and set an intention first thing in the morning about who you're gonna be, how you're gonna show up today. And here's the one that I like to add. What's the game that you wanna play in life today? What is the game you're playing that matters to you? And how can you inch the ball down the field today? Just inch, we're just talking about progress. So here's how this works. I want you to look at the person in the mirror, okay? So I'm looking at myself. That person in the mirror is the one person you're gonna go through life with. They need you. They need your support, they need your love. They need you to see them and to hear them and to love them and to celebrate them exactly where they are, exactly where they're not, today, every day. And right now you have a habit. You know, I'm sure that you have a morning routine. Can I tell you what your current morning routine is? It's to brush your teeth. It's to start drifting into the negative about your day. It's to start worrying. It's to then take a look at yourself in the mirror and criticize yourself or go, ugh, or ignore yourself. You need to start supporting the person you see every morning in the mirror. And so here's how you're going to do it. Before you even high five the person you see in the mirror, you're gonna set an intention. And this is based on recent research from Harvard, okay? You're gonna set an intention. And here's the interesting twist. You're not gonna set an intention for how you're gonna show up for other people. You're gonna set an intention for how you're gonna show up for that person you see in the mirror. What does she need today? Who does she need you to be? What game does she need you to play today? And when you think about that from an objective perspective of supporting yourself. It's a total game changer. Because right now you set an intention about what you're gonna go do. I want you to look yourself in the mirror and realize you need to build a partnership with this person that you see every morning. You need to support and love and celebrate that person. So first thing in the morning before you let the world in, look yourself in the mirror and see a human being that is worth support. See a human being that's showing up every day and trying their best. See a human being that needs you to start paying attention, to start celebrating and cheering for them. And now set that intention. Who does this lady in the mirror need me to be today? I'll tell you who Mel Robbins needs today. Mel Robbins needs me to show up and be kind to herself. Mel Robbins needs to show up today. And I know it sounds weird. I think it's talking in the third person when you refer to yourself by name. There's science about this by everybody. This is the power of objectivity. When you separate from the subconscious part of your brain and you see yourself objectively, I need to be kind to myself because we literally have six amazing podcast interviews today. It is going to be a blockbuster of a day. We're talking about the book and this profound research all day long. I'm so excited. I can't even believe how amazing this is going to be. Um, and you're going to love all this content. And so I need to be kind to myself. Because I have a habit of harping on the things that aren't working. I have a habit of focusing on what I'm not doing right. I have a habit of beating up this person I see in the mirror. And so today, the intention I'm gonna set for this lady right here is I'm gonna be kind to myself and I'm gonna have fun. Imagine that, imagine if your intention today was to have fun so that that person that you see in the mirror has a good day. 
And what is the uh, big game that I'm playing? Well, I'm on a mission to get the entire planet to understand the science and the profound power of the high five habit, which is making it a habit to start your day by high fiving yourself in the mirror and giving yourself the support, the love, the forgiveness, the celebration, the empowerment, the encouragement that you need every day because life is a marathon, work is a marathon. And in a marathon, do, those, do the spectators cross their arms and go, well, you're only at mile seven. I'm not, I'm not clapping for you, you loser. I'm not clapping until you cross the fin. Of course they don't do that. Spectators clap and high five the runners every single step of the way. And that's why I want you to raise your hand. You don't even have to say anything. You set your intention. I'm gonna have fun today. I'm gonna be kind to myself today. I'm gonna be joyous in, in sharing this incredible tool with the world. That's who I'm gonna be for this lady today because she needs me to show up for her. And you and the person staring back at you in the mirror needs you to start showing up for you in a totally different way. Now, for those of you that have bought the High Five Habit, I just wanna say high five. I'm so excited. Thank you for your support, but more importantly, thank you for investing in yourself. This book is a game changer. Do you know every dude that has interviewed me, every single one of them has choked up, every one of them, about the power of this high five habit. It is so fundamental, it is so profound. The science is bananas. These, I mean, even the men are crying. The women are, obviously, we get it. We're hard on ourselves. We need to love ourselves. We've spent a lifetime criticizing ourselves. I wanna teach you how to look forward to seeing the human being that stares back you every day in the mirror. I want you to learn how to like that person, how to love that person, how to celebrate that person, how to be excited that you get to go through life with this person, how to learn from that person. That's the opportunity of this book. That's why I'm so excited. That's why I'm so excited for you to get your hands on it. That's why I'm so excited for you to hear all these podcast interviews. That's why I am so excited to be with you and to teach you everything that I have learned over this last year as I have been researching this. So today, who is calling me? Matt Neutra, I can't talk to you right now. I love you, but I can't talk to you. Um, I will text you as soon as I'm done with this because I love you. That's my neighbor. And by the way, he is such a cool guy. He is the head of 3D sound innovation at Bose. Super cool guy. He's probably calling me to tell me that the sound is off on this thing. <laughs> I love you, Matt Neutra. Um, if he calls one more time, I might have to pick up. But will you tell me in the comments, who are you going to be for the person you see staring back at you in the mirror? That person, that human being that looks at you every day and is hoping that you look up and that you see them and that you love them. Who are you going to be? How are you going to show up for the person that you see in the mirror? Yourself. How are you gonna show up for yourself today? I want you to write it in the comments because you know what? I don't know where you are watching from the world, but you have a chance of making a difference in somebody else's life by simply writing what your intention is in the comments. What you set about your intention, mine is to be kind to myself and to be joyous today and have a hell of a lot of fun in a really packed day sharing my story and sharing the tools and the profound research and in the high five habit and connecting with these extraordinary, extraordinary individuals that we're gonna be talking to today. And um, what is your intention? Let's see, I'm gonna love, oh, the person you see in the mirror and be proud of her, I love it. I'm gonna be present to the person I see in the mirror. I'm gonna be kind and bold for the human being I see in the mirror. I'm gonna be patient with myself. I love this, you guys, you're so good. I intend on being kind and patient, being an awesome mom. Uh, and be an awesome mom for yourself. Don't do it because you're making yourself wrong. Be an awesome mom because you deserve to, and you already are an awesome mom, by the way. I'm gonna be joyful and passionate and focused for myself. I'm gonna appreciate myself. I love this. And then, you know what I want you to do? Once you set an intention for how you're gonna be for the person that stares back at you in the mirror every morning and is just desperate for you to see them, to love them, to support them. Then you're gonna raise your hand and you're gonna seal it with a high five. And what's so cool is you don't have to say a word. You see, you've been high-fiving everybody else for your entire life. The gesture alone, the second you go to raise your hand in the mirror, wait till you read the science in the book, this book, everybody. Wait till you see me 
on every podcast you listen to, unpacking the science for you. I put all the science in chapter two of the book because it is bananas. When you raise your hand and high five your own reflection, I'm going to be kind, I'm going to be patient, I'm going to love myself today. I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to, I'm going to show up for myself. That's what I'm going to do. When you high five yourself, you are sealing that intention. Literally, I don't know how to hold this thing. You're sealing that intention right there. And when you raise your hand, literally the act of raising your hand, you've done it so many times, all of the programming is already in your brain. Your brain knows how to do this. The second you raise your hand, guess what happens? Your brain goes, oh, yep, I believe in that person. I love that person. Go get them, Mel. You got this. I believe in you. You can do it. Let's go. That's what the high five to yourself does. You don't have to say a word because your brain already has that programming in it associated with it. How freaking cool is that? You might feel a little bit of boost of energy. You want to know why? This comes from Dr. Daniel Amen. Uh, when you raise your hand to wave at somebody, when you raise your hand to hug somebody, when you raise your hand to high five somebody, when you raise your hands in the air because you cross a finish line, it's celebratory. The more you high five your reflection every morning in the mirror, your nervous system recognizes it as celebration and it gives you a jolt of energy. Not only that, but it feels so good to get a high five from somebody else, doesn't it? So your brain recognizes it. And your brain gives you a drip of dopamine, people. So your mind, body, and spirit are designed to make the... I don't know how to hold this damn thing. Your mind, body, and spirit are designed to do the work for you. You are already programmed to receive the benefits of high-fiving yourself. That's why after you brush your teeth and you clean that crap out of your mouth, we need to clean the crap out of your mind. We need to set an intention for how you're going to show up for this person in the mirror. Seal it with a high-five. All right. I love you. Go have a phenomenal day. I just want to say I'm so excited to everybody we're going to talk to. We had an incredible lineup of interviews yesterday. Today's going to be even more extraordinary. One of these days I'll figure out how to film myself or photograph myself high-fiving myself in the mirror. But for now, I want to tell you, I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. High-five, baby. High-five. <laughs>